welcome back to Red Ted Art. We've got another super simple pinch pot for you. Now these pumpkins are perfect for Thanksgiving. Fill them with little treats, a really nice decorative uh, little craft to do with the kids. Of course, you can make a Halloween version, just draw in some quirky, spooky Halloween faces and you have a Halloween pumpkin as well. But come on, let's take a look and see how this pinch pot is made. So we're gonna start off with a lump of clay. This is a lump that kind of fits into my hand nicely. I think that's good. I've got a little bit extra on the side in case I need a little bit more, you often do. So first I'm gonna just knead it a little bit just to soften it and make it easier to turn into a pinch pot. We love pinch pots, as you know, and we've made quite a few before. <laughs> Our favorite ones I think have been the apple ones, but I think the leaf ones are really nice this time of year as well. So yes, once you've given it a good roll, given it a good squash, made sure that sort of there's no gaps, <coughs> it's time to turn it into a pinch pot. And it's the point about a pinch pot is that you're literally pinching the pot into the, the, the clay. It's really quite an easy project. In, in our house, the things that sometimes go wrong is we make this outer edge too thin and we can just keep going and going. And the other one is make sure it doesn't stick to your surface. So actually, it's quite good to pick it up every so often and uh, make sure it's not stuck to the surface. You may also want to have a little bit of water to hand just so that you can smooth things off. But we're gonna do the smoothing once I've got a slightly more pumpkin-y shape. So look, that was the basic pinch bowl pot already, isn't it? That was quite quick. So once you have your basic shape, you can just give it a, a round off might just uh, soften it a bit actually so I don't have so many cracks. don't like the cracks. Like I say, you can do that with water or just by hand. You can also smoothen the center a little bit. Right, then you shape it into a pumpkin. It's very simple. It's like the apple one. Let me just check. I'm gonna just basically squeeze the two in because pumpkins and apples have very similar shapes. So this could make a good apple jar, um, pinch pot, or a pumpkin one. So, got the pumpkin shape, can you see? I've squeezed it in there. There we go. And squeezed it in there. And I think that will do. Now I'm just gonna take my extra clay and make a little, um, it called stalk for my pumpkin. You could try and form it out of the original pot but I think that's sometimes where things go wrong and also this is good practice in learning how to join clay. So I have my sort of stalk shape Kind of like a, I don't know, like that. We want to attach it. What you're gonna to have to do is cross hatch it here. I'm gonna shape it a bit more once it's on. Cross hatch it, cross hatch it. Add some water. Add some water. And here's some water. And then a squeeze together. Here we go. And then I'm gonna just smoothen it down. You really don't want it falling off once it's on. So make sure that it's smoothed. You can always make the distinction again between the two afterwards, but let's just get the connected. I think that's quite well connected. Make sure it's well connected at the bottom. You can always use a knife or some tools to it down. Great practice for learning to connect clay. It's quite an important skill when you're working with clay because you don't want it falling apart. So I have my basic shape and then I'm just going to just differentiate it. There we go. Done. It's not that simple. I might just now take a little bit of water and just smoothen it all off. And then we're gonna let it dry and then it's ready for painting. 
but I do like to smoothen it all off, get rid of any cracks and then it's ready for painting once it's fully dry. Once your pumpkins are fully dry, it's time to paint them. I'm going to use these gloss enamel paints because I really like them and I have them and they're a good colour. Um, but you can use acrylics or you can mix um, a little bit of uh, glue into normal paints that should give it um, that plastic tea sheen feeling and use that uh, instead. My daughter's done that at school before and the results worked just as well. So yeah, I put quite a lot in here, maybe a little bit too much. And I'm literally just gonna paint my pumpkin orange. And then I'm gonna add a little green bit to the top and then we'll let it dry again. So I'll speed that bit of the video up for you. finished item isn't it adorable now as mentioned before these would work really well for Halloween as well you could put a little pumpkin face inside you could also get a black pen and add some lines if you want or um, add some patterns I think they're really super easy little pinch pot bowls that would look great in fall autumn Halloween Thanksgiving whenever you think it might be suitable so anyway I hope you like this craft don't forget to like comment and subscribe above all Keep watching, keep making, and I'd love to see you here again soon. Take care. Bye.